Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Stockport County, this road to glory save. And as you may see in the top right hand corner of the screen, the date isn't the date that we said we were going to come back on. Now, something happened at the start of the season where we got offered a job by Rangers and we... I, I applied for it just because I've seen, I did get offered the job, turned it down because... I didn't feel that was the right thing to do in terms of this save. I wanted to have a crack at the championship. However, I have been offered a job. I haven't actively been looking. I haven't been applying for any jobs. I got offered a job by the team that I support. And if we go back down to here, they offered me a job interview. Took the job interview. They got back in touch with me a couple of days ago requesting backroom staff changes and as of today they have offered me a job at Villa Park, £25,000 a week, £76 million transfer budget with a £2.2 million wage budget. The side currently looks like this, their key player at the moment is 30 year old Emil Smith Rowe, they sit 18th in, 17th sorry, in the Premier League. 14 points from 17 games. I'm not sure who the previous manager was. It was Danny Cowley was the previous manager. Nearly two and a half years in charge there. Only Frank Lampard has won anything. And that was the championship back in 2022, I'm guessing. So he is, or 2023. So he has done, they've done nothing as a club. If we just look at the players that they've got. I mean, just... By transfer value, Ramiro Asario, a Colombian 22-year-old, is valued between 45 and 56 million. Emil Smith Rowe is up there as well. Uh, Ivan Jaime, Mika Beereth. Mika Beereth. Why do I know that name? I am not sure why I know that name. But you look down some of these players. They've got a decent-looking side. Surely. I mean, their media prediction was 11th. Surely we have got to take this job and we've got to have a look at what we can do. We have a avoid relegation as our thing. Play attacking football, play entertaining football, develop players using the club's youth system. That's all fine. I wonder whether we can get a little bit more money out of them. Let's see if we can push them. Wow, they've given us 30k. Fine. Three year deal, £30,000 a week. And we're going to accept it and when we click on the next day it should come up that in a move which is sure to spark plenty of heated debate Daniel Darby has left Stockport to join Aston Villa arrives with a record of 244 wins 93 draws 101 defeats in his career and has won five league titles will be managing one of his favorite clubs and the significance of this appointment will certainly not be lost on either him all the team supporters and the first game in charge will be against Brentford in the Premier League on the 21st of December. I think that's in a couple of days time. Stockport will now be looking for a new manager. We're taking Johnny Jackson, Steve Rance, Gary Faber, Hannah Burgeon, Paul Denton, Graham Mullins, Jamie Russell and Zach Mills over to Villa Park with us. We are an icon at Stockport County, born in Dudley on the 16th of June 1990. Northern Premier League Division 1 Midlands winner with Inkley Leicester Road and won the National League, League 2 and League 1 with Stockport County. Villa are down in 17th place. have lost four of their last five games in the league. Let's get into this and have a look at the squad. Media prediction is to finish 11th. We've brought in majority of our own staff. We're just going to click through all of this stuff. And right, so Derby takes the Aston Villa hot seat. The junior coaching budget is increased. Players in the last year of the contract. We'll have a look at Sander Berg's also in his last year of the contract. He's an important player. At the club, we'll look at that in a second. Youth intake preview, got a good intake. A's on goalkeepers and centre-backs. B on central midfielders. C on strikers and D on wide midfielders. Season expectations is avoid relegation. I wonder whether we can just avoid a relegation battle from where we are now. £81 million of wage bridge that gives us. We've got about £300,000 of wage bridge to spend. We'll move some of that across as and when we need it. And we'll have a look at the tactics in a bit. We were not too bothered about that just yet. Let's have a look what we have at our disposal. So, best player on star rating is 31-year-old Jaffa Tanganga. Emil Smith Rowe is our second best player. Mika Beereth, a striker. Five goals in seven for him. 
Ivan James is a left winger as well. Uh, Tafaner is someone who can play defensive midfield or the central midfield, attacking field. Uh, Francisco Conchao is a right winger. Ramiro Osorio is a left winger. We've got a lot of left wingers here. I feel like there's a lot here we can probably get rid of. We're just going to move down and have a look at the under 23s and the under 18s. In terms of potential, we have Mark Hart, who's an 18 year old striker. Nothing else really there. And if we move down here, Wilson Mendes, who's a 17 year old Portuguese goalkeeper, not even got one gold star yet. So we haven't got a lot in terms of what in our youth setup or in our first team. So what have we got out on loan at the moment in terms of potential? Antonio Vieira is a central midfielder, two and a half star, four star potential. David Cabongo is an 18 year old with three and a half star potential. So is Thomas Weir, who's a centre back with three and a half star potential. There's not there's a lot of old players here. If we just look at our first team, yeah, a lot of players over the age of 30. Not a massive fan of that. We're going to get into it and have a look what we can get in. Anyway, it's a big, big move. I'm fully aware of that. That is the team lineup. We're going to show you the opening game against Brentford in two days' time in this episode. Yeah, It's disappointing to leave Stockport where they are. Obviously, we leave them... It would have had the divisions on it. We leave them in the championship in 14th with 32 points for 25 games. That should mean that they can go on and easily survive. They're 11 points clear of South End in 22nd, so they're in a good position right now. But when the job comes up at the team you support, I mean, if this were real, the idea of the save initially was to do it all with Inkley Leicester Road. That changed when. We obviously got kicked out when they got relegated to an unplayable league. Right now, we're sort of treating it as, you know, getting to the top. I don't know how much further we can push with Stockport County. And the job became available at Villa Park. I had to take it. Have to get this team to survive. And then we can move on from there and hopefully push on towards European football with this side. Right then, it is the first game as Aston Villa manager. We are away at Brentford and something that we are not used to seeing. All those broken lines between the two centre-backs, between the wingers and the full-backs. But we've got to do what we've got to do with the team that we've got at the moment. So the team is as follows. It's a in goal. It's Bjorkan, Salinas, Vysikic. Vusikovic, Vusikovic, Tanganga, Berat in front of them, Sander Berg and Emil Smith-Rowe in the centre of the field, Ivan Jaime on the left, Konshaw on the right and Mika Birith up front. Let's see what these boys can do. Let's get into the opening game of our career at Aston Villa. Let's go. Bjorkan with his throw, launches in towards Ivan Jaime, squares it across, cleared away and, it, well, cleared away eventually, <clears throat> headed down to Doyle, Doyle over halfway, Salinas can cut that ball out there, Jaime into Berg, out to Bjorkan on the left hand side, Bjorkan now onto his right foot but then plays it back into Salinas, Barat, Smith Rowe, into Conchiao, Conchiao with a shot and Conchiao scores, oh I forget we got VAR now, so inside 9 minutes away at Brentford, have we given this travelling support something to jump and shout about? As I've said before, no news I presume is good news. And Barat with the ball into Smith Rowe. Great one to Conchia coming in from the right hand side. And a great finish round the goalkeeper. 1 0 inside nine minutes. And we know Brentford are bottom of the league. But we still need to go and do a job and get to winning ways. And we're doing just that as Tanganga looks for Smith Rowe. It's cut out. And Omega now can come forward into Babuski. Babushku into the box, tackled by Barat, no foul. He runs it out of defence, over halfway, fires up towards Beerus, but Brown wins the header. Evans infield to Guendouzi. Guendouzi back to Brown and square to Ballard. Guendouzi again on the centre circle. There's a little triangle between the defensive midfielder and the two centre backs. Babushku, Babushku now into shooting range and fires it over the bar. Bjorkan now with the throw on the far side into Sanderberg, Salinas, Barat. Into Smith Rowe. Looks like ball. Beers. Is he on side? He fires it in, and it's going to be another check. And this is why I hate managing top flight football. I think that one may be offside. Yep, that one is offside. Disallowed. Beers just went too soon. Barat into Smith Rowe, pulling all the strings in that central attacking midfield role into Beers. He fired it off the inside of the post. It won't count though, and it remains 1 0 as we go into half time. Tanganga throws it into Konchiao, the goal scorer. Back to Tanganga. Fusikovic infield to Barat. 
He looks out to the left hand side and James. Ivan James never looks to go past his man. He has to go back to Bjork and into Berg. Nice little interchange of passes. Into Berg. Squares across Conchow and it's just wide. He hit the foot of the post. He should have really hit the target there. But it remains 1 0. Hour gone. Into the final 10 minutes of the game here. Our first game in charge as Babuscu can run away in the inside left channel. Switches out to Ivanescu. Ivanescu now forced out wide. Goes back to Matty Cash. Cash against his former club. Tries that ball in through to Ivanescu. And it's gone through a coin. Cleared away. Evans infilled to Doyle. Flicks it back out to Evans on the left side. Cross comes in. And the header. And it's cleared by Salinas. Guendouzi now. Back out to Evans. Under the cosh here. In the final 7 minutes or so. Ball squared across Salinas. Taps it away to Tanganga and we clear it and we're going to go cautious and we're going to shout and we're going to encourage. There's a couple of minutes left to play. We're going to use a substitution just to waste some time. Emil Smith-Rowe is going to come off for Lemires who was unhappy because he wanted playing time. Obviously we've only been here a couple of days and we are going to get our first victory as Villa manager 1-0 against Brentford. We don't look a good side, I've got to be honest. We created some good we created some chances. One clear cut chance, 12 shots, 5 on target. We win by a goal to nil. How does that make the table look? I'm very happy we got the result. That's all we needed to do in today's game is just pick up the three points. Let's see. Uh it was a great match, everything went according to plan, that's a little bit of a lie and an early goal helps so much. We are up to 15th, we go above Wolves and Norwich with that victory. We are 4 points clear of Brighton in 18th place and it Hart makes his professional debut so I think that's the way forward for this club. We are in for a long, long haul here as Watford beat Man City. That is very interesting. We're going to come back for our first proper episode. Uh, as Aston Villa manager and we're going to come back and we're going to play a double header at the end of January and start of February against Manchester United and Manchester City two of the toughest games we could play in the meantime we're going to play United in the Premier League away Brighton, Wolves, Watford, Swansea in the FA Cup West Ham and then we'll come back for those two games there hopefully we can get a bit of form going together uh, um, the old I don't know if it was the old manager or whether it was um Mark Delaney, they got a victory against West Brom last time out. That stopped a run of games since the 19th of October where they last beat Brighton 2-0. But we're also going to do a little bit of business. So during that as well, we're going to show you probably the deadline day because we've got a lot of money to spend and we're going to spend it. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Hopefully you're enjoying the fact that now we are moving onwards and upwards. It's a sad time leaving Stockport County, but we're at Aston Villa now. We're in the Premier League and we have a chance with the money this club has got to really build and push towards our first European adventure of the save.